All right, guys. That's Patrick from Mid Ten Outdoors. How are you doing? So, coming up here to um, Paris Landing didn't click in my head. There's something close by that I like going to, and that's where we're headed now. So, give me just a second. We're gonna get in the truck about six miles down the road or so. We are headed to Land Between the Lakes for a little while today. So let's get this one going. Okay, we're up here at Land Between the Lakes. I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. I don't know if you can see it because I've got the wide angle lens. I'm gonna try to turn it in. But up on that hill, you see a bunch of trees down. I know they've had more storm damage up here. And you can tell where that one tree that's been over, um, I would imagine storm damage, but they've also been doing a lot of timbering. So, I don't know. We're gonna get back in the truck. We're gonna we got a couple different ones I want to hit today. Uh, I'm hoping to see some wildlife. So this is one of them dead blame roads that I'm going to turn around on. Um, I could probably make it past right there. But it's having to get way far off. I don't want to do that by myself. I've got a good wide place to turn around. Do a 500 point turn around. But I had to dodge a pretty good sized hole back up that way. Um, I don't think anything's worth it. One day I'll have fun drive. Don't worry about shit like that. It's probably nothing. Um, I say it's probably nothing. I 
Now, I probably could squeeze by right there and keep going, but I don't think there's any gain in it. So, we turn around, we squeeze back by that other, uh, we squeeze by. All right, let's do this. Go back the other way. Like I said, I don't worry. It goes down to the lake. I know that, but is it worth it? Yeah. We got other places. We can go to the lake. All right, so. What I'm gonna do, this is uh, 207. We'll go back to 206, which is two lane. I'm gonna take it to uh, 172, which is Hicks Hollow. Um, this is this is the one I skirted. I don't think I had to skirt it. I'm gonna keep, as Bill would say, let's keep the good tire on the dry side. This is deep right here. Come on, Titan. There you go. That deep. That's probably solid. I'm just trying to hope that ain't solid. <laughs> it was uh, slinging. But anyway, that's the one I had to buy. I mean, I did everything I could to bypass as much as possible. Like Bill always said, keep try to keep a good tire on the dry side or the high side <laughs> and that's what I did and I could hear because I mean I face this thing's limited slip I could hear that back one spinning on that side so now this I just drove right through it's hard bottom so it was no big deal but don't you know linger I'm a, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's the worst of it. Pretty back in here. I did. Is it this one I saw a campsite on? I think it was. It's was just off the road. I was like, oh, that's a camping spot. But you gotta watch, man. There's some stupid holes. Oh man. Hang on. All right. Let's go to the next spot. Oh, no, no. Okay, so I was going to go down to Hicks Hollow down there. Uh, but that right over there says road, bridge closed. Road closed. Bridge closed. And there's another sign back up here on the other sign, which is a sign that says. Uh, bridge is out so I, I'm, I'm gonna take it for its word but that's where we came out that time yeah that's three something we come down that and um, it popped out there and I knew where we were there's a little cemetery down there but there's a car just turned down it I want to see if they come right back um, but now nah, we can move on there's other places we can go. I heard a car coming. So we'll jump back on the trace and we'll run up. Uh, we're about 171, Reed Hollow. I heard a car coming. I'm trying to do some stuff on the left hand side that I haven't done in a while. Let's let's go up to one what is that? 168. Let's go up to 168. Three, two, one. Okay, so it just dawned on me. I was like, I don't remember there being a um, bridge on going to Jones Creek. Jones Creek. It does have a bridge. It has a little bridge to go over. And I know we've, at home, we've had a bunch of rain uh, over the last couple weeks. 
and but I think that's been closed for quite some time now um, from some other storms and there's there's trees down from storm damage all through here um, so okay probably should have, well no I mean I, I didn't check also I did not check before I come over here um, what areas were closed today I just didn't and had I done that I would have probably known Jones Creek was closed because the little bridge there is out um, it's kind of funny that's a little bit bridge I'm surprised they haven't been replaced by now but yeah you know I don't government I'm sure it takes some time to uh, uh, build a new bridge that's probably six feet across maybe but we're going to run back up to Trace a little piece and so far the east side has been uh, kicking my or west side has been kicking my butt in the south I mean I'm on the south end of this of uh, LBL and so far the west side has been mean just been rude okay y'all might remember this particular camping spot I keep threatening to come up here and camp every time I'm up here it's windy like this though and I'm kind of glad but you have this view but it never fails it's windy when I'm up here so I'm kind of glad uh, I didn't come up here last night it wasn't like this this morning all right now more aerodynamic I hope you can hear me but I'm gonna take some steels um, I've got just a couple left so I'll burn them up here because then I got another camera I'm working on this will be on the other channel this is a Canon T50 I got a Nikon I said a Nikon but uh, one last look. This God, it's windy up here. Gorgeous. This is a hell of a view right here. Alright, bang a little bit. Okay, so I was talking to, I was up there taking pictures on the point, and a fella come up there, is, actually he's chasing after his dog, me and his dog were talking, but me and the fella got to talking, and he, I said something about it, every time I come up here, it's windy, he said it's always windy on the point, and I was like, oh, he said it's been like that all week, and I said, crazy thing is, I just camped at Paris Landing, which is just right down the river, lake, the river and a lake and I said um, not, a, not a not a bit of wind whatsoever I mean, we had some breezes every now and then but not like that I mean that's just, just constant wind and I was like well then if I ever come back here to camp I'll have to camp in one of those lower sites because they didn't like they were getting beat up so bad and he's there for another week and he was talking about moving down to the lower sites because he's getting pretty well pounded right where he was too um, but anyway um, interesting to note so if I do come back here and camp at this particular campground so I will camp in one of the lower sites oh no oh, oh lord oh Whew. Man, my front end alignment guys don't love me after this. All right, guys, we'll back in a little bit. All right, guys, um, I'm calling it a day. It's almost 12 o'clock here, and I'm ready to get on home. I'm, you know, getting kind of tired. Been at it pretty much since yesterday. Um, slept good last night at Paris Landing. It's crazy how windy it is here 
but it, I mean the wind was nothing at Paris Landing and I had a fellow tell me he goes man he said it's been like this all week and I was like really I mean we just every now and then have a little slight breeze and that was it but it is what it is I may throw some photos in here at the end um, on the other channel I'll be discussing this which is a Nikon N55 35mm I uh, just started shooting with it today but uh, anyway it's been a weekend time to go home go back to 9 to 5 and um, edit some videos gotta do some editing I got two to edit all right guys I appreciate you watching subscribe share like and all that other good stuff for me and we'll see you on the next one